ja, dobar je. Maj najbolj, ja. Spanji ste na počet maj najbolj, če bi ne Basically, yeah, every brand, whatever brand you like, your brand, someone else's brand, any website address you like, right, yeah, there's 1,200 plus extensions or duplicate, duplications of that brand. Um, and businesses tend to think, okay, I'll buy the, in the especially in the UK, and I'm talking now, I think I'm thinking of one particular brand. Yeah, who do not want to buy the, the dot u? They own the dot u. They own the dot co dot uk, but do not want to buy the dot uk, which is sitting there for ten quid. Someone's only got to buy it, which would cause proper chaos for that brand. Um, then you've got the uk thing. The hyphens. Oh, we must have a hyphen or underscore this word underscore. That word, underscore, hyphen, um, there's no need for hyphens, is there? What do you want a hyphen? What do you need a hyphen for? All a hyphen would do is actually separate one word, one keyword, or one brand, brandable word, or brand, with a hyphen, and then an industry industry sector, or service sector, or two key, or brand, or keyword, hyphen, another keyword. But if you use a hyphen you've got to use a CCTLD. Right? If you use a C C let's just say right, anything let's just say keyword hyphen keyword, right? Yeah? If you wanted that as a website, obviously it's right it's it's sold by right, yeah? key uh, it's uh, users, I don't know whatever. Let's just say you got a keyword, hyphen, keyword. You're going to have, because you haven't got a dot, you're going to have to use a CCTLD or a TLD or a new G. No, you can't use a new G. Because a hyphen doesn't, a new G TLD doesn't need a hyphen. Right? Ironically, though, the shortest web, one of the shortest websites in, websites in the world has a hyphen. A, hy a number hyphen, a number space and hyphen, I think it's the shortest website in the world. One of them, anyway. And then, so if you use it, see, hyphen's the same as a dot, almost the same as a dot. Then you think, what, what ranks more in Google, a hyphen or a dot? But if you use a new GTLD which uses a dot instead of a, instead of a hyphen, the new GTLD doesn't need a CCTLD on the end because it uses a GTLD as its, as its website address extension. Which makes it, a new GTLD is one word dot another word as the, the extension is a word. The website address extension of a GTLD is a word. Whereas the CCTLD of dot code UK or dot UK is not a word, it's just an area. Yeah? Area specific. And it's limited by its area, its specific area of the CCTLD, country code top level domain. Whereas then you've got top level domain, and then you've got generic top level domain, which is GTLD. But GTLD doesn't need a CCTLD. But uh, if you use a hyphen between the two words, you use CCTLD on the, on the end, if that makes sense. All good fun.